Hi, it's Izzy and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will be sharing with you guys my favorite streaming service recommendations. So I will actually be going through Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, and another one that most of you guys probably aren't aware of. I can't wait to show you guys what my favorite TV shows to watch are. If this is all TV shows, let me know if you want me to do one for movies. I have a relatively light taste, so just warning you, they're like all pretty appropriate for kids, um, except for a few maybe, like one or two. But yeah, so I can't wait to show you guys, and let's just get right on into the video. Okay, so first up is Netflix, because it's my favorite out of all of them. <laughs> so the first one, if any of you follow me on Instagram, which by the way is Isabella Kate Blog, go follow it. If any of you follow me, you will automatically know what I'm about to say. Gilmore Girls. So Gilmore Girls is a show that I started watching about summer of 2019. And I literally became obsessed, finished it summer of 2020 because we watch things slowly. I have it on <laughs> almost every day in my house, if not every day. I was watching it before I filmed this. Definitely, you should watch this one. It's like, this one's one of the ones that not that's not as appropriate for like kids. I would say like 14 and up, personally. I'm 14 and I feel comfortable watching it. Parts are uncomfortable even for me. But that's also because I'm pretty innocent, so. So yeah, that one's my favorite TV show out of any I watch. It's my top, so definitely recommend that. Also, P.S. Team Jess. If any of you know. Mm. Next up is Fuller House, which is just, it's more of a just a kids TV show. If you're just watching for something light to watch, maybe turn on while you're doing something, just kind of a fun watch, I would definitely go for this one. It's a cute TV show, kind of cheesy at times, but it's still cute, so I like it. Next up is one that probably most of you haven't heard of. It's called The Good Witch, and it's been on there for a while. I watched it, started watching it in February 2020. Yeah, it was 2020. So I really like it. It's very subdued, so I like watch it while I'm cleaning my room or watch it if I just want like a good feel-good show. But it's just like about a witch who never says she's a witch. It's really sketchy, honestly. But it has love and drama, so I'm down for it. It's literally appropriate for any age. It's super appropriate. But it definitely has some drama in there. Like this summer, I would high key just like binge four episodes in one day, and they're all 45 minutes. So next up is my favorite. Or no, not my favorite. My second favorite right now which is Julie and the Phantoms, <laughs> literally obsessed. So I found Julie through actually a couple people. I saw it and I was like, that looks good. And so I started watching it and got obsessed and watched all of it very quickly. There are only nine episodes, but if you're just watching, wanting something to binge, 100% Julie and the Phantoms. Like it has incredible music. I have it on repeat all the time. It has music, it has dancing. It has emotion. I mean, it has r a really good story to it. It's great for kids too, but I mean, it's also great for adults and teens because it's addicting. It has cute guys. Yeah, I mean, it's, if any of you all know, you all know High School Musical, it's directed by Kenny Ortega, who also directed High School Musical. So if that tells you anything, you should go watch it. Tell your friends, go watch the show, get it a season two because we're all trying desperately. So yeah. Okay, so we're gonna head on to the second streaming service, which is Hulu. So Hulu, I don't like it as much as Netflix because it has like 80 seconds of ads like all the time during the show, which is kind of annoying, honestly. Like I was saying, it has ads throughout the show, so I don't personally love that, kind of annoys me, but still has good TV shows. So my favorites are Frasier, which is not for kids. No, definitely not. Um, Cheers, which isn't really for kids either and Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist, and I haven't watched enough of that one to know. I've only watched one episode of Zoe's, but it's really good so far. Like, it's funny, but it's still, like, it has an interesting story to it. It's more, like, deep, honestly, but it's either really funny or, like, really deep, and there's no, like, no, there's not much in between. But the funny parts are so hilarious, because they just randomly break out into song in her head, but she doesn't know why. And Frasier is just, like, a good 90s sitcom that's hilarious. Um, Cheers is another 80s, 90s sitcom, but it's really funny too, and has a cute romance, so. 
we're already on season two and we haven't started that we haven't been watching for that long i think we're about through season two actually yeah we are we're at the very end so i recommend those if you're like a teenager or older looking for something to just like watch and binge i mean those are pretty good they're very light but they're hilarious so i have my screen right in front of me so i'm looking at it next up we're gonna move to disney plus so disney plus is pretty good it has a lot of options on there um, my favorite on disney plus is high school musical the musical the series so such a good show so good but yeah so it's like another nine or ten episode series and it's literally so good i've watched it probably six ish times through if not more i literally like will just go and binge half of it because it's so good the episodes are only like 24 minutes and it has so much drama so much good singing i mean the songs in it are incredible now, for any high school musical fans you need to watch high school musical the musical the series because it's literally so freaking good and that one's pretty good for kids too i would say then if you're looking for just like good old classics on disney plus i would say like kim possible Good Luck Charlie, Austin Alley, and Shake It Up because those are super light but also hilarious and just like 2000s TV shows. So if you haven't seen some of those, they're always a cute watch. Then this is a streaming service most of you haven't probably heard of and I'm probably going to get ju judged a lot for this but I really don't care. So I love Hallmark Movies Now <laughs> which is it's a streaming service for Hallmark Channel. And I just love it because I don't always love the way they do movies on there. They do have a TV show that I really love and it's called Chesapeake Shores. I'll probably get made fun for this one, but I'm really okay with that. Um, it's really good, honestly. It's like really good to have on in the background. You're like doing something and watch it and it has so much drama. Oh my gosh. If you're looking for like a almost soap, a soap opera, go for Chesapeake Shores. Like it's so good. It has so much family drama. So much. Like this family has so much baggage. But yeah, I just really like it. It's light. It has cute romance. Um, I'd say that one's good for kids too. Like, it doesn't have anything inappropriate in it. And it's honestly a really good show. It's not really for kids. Because I don't think they enjoy the plots. But yeah, it's about like a big family. So it's really interesting to see like one of them is a lawyer. One of them was in the army. There's one that moves home. There's one that runs a B&B slash inn. So yeah, definitely recommend that. Uh, I know you, most of y'all probably haven't heard of it, but that's okay. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed hearing about all of my TV show recommendations. Let me know which streaming service is your favorite. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and comment and subscribe for more videos coming soon. I have a really cool schedule, so I would really enjoy if you stuck around. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.